Okay, so I'm trying the San Jose ingest server. We were doing Seattle, Washington before. Seattle's always been fine. So I don't know if there's something with my internet or something with my connection to Seattle or maybe something wrong with the Seattle ingest server. It seems like we're encoding and sending fine and we're not dropping now. So San Jose for the win, maybe? No, I'm using XSplit. I don't use OBS. I have a lifetime membership to XSplit, so that's my preferred software. It seems like it's fine now, so hopefully that fixed the issue. I don't know. Dropping frames sucks. Internet problems sucks. Um, but you guys didn't miss anything. I didn't do any Thomcraft research without you guys. So don't panic about that. We're still, we still got our Thomcraft research to do together. Ooh, look at this. We unlocked something. Let's do this one. Purchased. We still need this one to unlock, and I don't know what it is. Um, I think we just purchase all these, right? Boop, boop. Boop. All right, so we can purchase a good portion of those, but we have to research these equal trade and excavation. I don't really care too much about that, but I think we got to do that. So something else is locking this out and it might be we have to create the actual wand. Uh, before we can move on. So let's do that. Let's do the great wood log. In the arcane bench. Oh, look at all this stuff we got in here. Uh, wand. There we go. Great wood wand. Rod. Um, I don't know if we have to make the rod itself before we unlock something. Uh, what, what kind of caps can we make? Just the gold ones? I think the gold ones are probably the best we can do at the moment. So that's just gold nuggets in here. So let's do that. Boop, boop, boop. Done. All right. So did that unlock something? No. Hmm. Uh, how am I? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. All right, Romanus, we'll see you later. So since we got the gas holes, I think we can turn this off for now. And yeah, we have five more in the system, plus all these other ones. Let's go and get these out of here. You guys thought the shields in 1.8 were taking up a good portion of your screen. Imagine playing with something like this. <laughs> These things are stupid. Whoa, it's coming at me. We got gas. Ah, get him away. <laughs> anyway, let's put those up. Let's turn this off. Shields are 1.9. Yeah. That's how much I play vanilla Minecraft. I don't even know these things anymore. All right, let's set this thing back up the way it was before. We don't really need our gas killer anymore. We did our purpose here. And we got a bunch of the gas mob souls. We only really needed one. 
I wanted extra just for later, just in case we need to move it or whatever. So we'll probably set up another area specifically for those later. But we want the regular monster set up now so I can get in here and collect the aspects from the grinder to make my thumb crafting that much easier. Good. I think that's all we need to do. I just need to poke a hole somewhere. Probably right here. Hopefully my wand will reach over there. I'm not sure if it will. I might have to do something like this. I can't get through. I might have to do this so I can get to those aspects. I don't know yet. Anyway, let's turn this on over here. Boop, boop. All right, let me grab the wand so we can recharge that too. Oh, I do have this one on me. Whoops. Well, we should recharge this one anyway. Taint spider. I was like, what is touching me? Boom, boom. There we go. Awful. Stomp craft is easy mode. Actually. I think we could do that and still access it. Maybe. Maybe that taint spider won't be able to get out. Am I gonna get rid of the cobblestone walls around the base that look kind of ugly? Uh, no. I don't think they look beautiful. Talking about they look ugly. These are like the best things ever. We might get rid of them. Um, I was experiencing some lag with the carpenter wedge slopes that we had here, trying to round out this corner. And I was thinking if we replace these walls with carpenter blocks and place blocks in those, that might cause lag. I don't know if that does or doesn't. Uh, that's why I haven't really experimented with this. But yeah, we'll probably be getting rid of these for something later on. All right, uh, let's clean up the old inventory a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we need the paper probably. Get rid of that and this. Cool. All right. So we got this ready to go. So what else do we need to unlock? What is it? What is it? What are you hiding behind? I don't know. Maybe I have to make golems. Maybe I have to make the goggles revealing. We should make that anyway. To be honest. Purchased. It might be this. purchase guess we'll do the goggles that's something we should have done anyway uh you should check out test pack please ignore him maybe i'm not saying i'm not gonna but i'm probably not gonna i'm not saying i'm not gonna uh so we need air arm magic arm Air, Aurum, Magic, Aurum. Cool. Now we need to go Magic over here. So that's going to be Aurum, Magic, Aurum, Magic, Aurum, probably.
goggles are a pain in the butt to crack because you need the witch area and all. Oh, we already have that, so... Nope, still didn't unlock here. Uh, so, to make the goggles... Impregnated leather. With diamond. Hey, we already made the witchery stuff. We might have this stuff. We have five of them. Yeah, up above here, we already have our witchery area set up. We get all of this stuff done, and we have our altar right here that's got uh, 7,028 altar power. Uh, so how many of these do we need? Two of the impregnated leather? And we need four of them for the goggles, right? And then we need two thermometers. All right, and then gold. Try to make the thermometer. The shape crafting. Do I like anime? If not, that's fine. Anime isn't for anyone. Um, I kind of like anime to a point. Like I just got done watching Attack on Titan, the entire anime. Like I had watched probably the first eight episodes a while ago when it first came out. And then I forgot to go back to it. It was good. It was interesting. I just never went back to it. Then the Attack on Titan game came out recently. So I went back and rewatched the entire thing all the way through, like all 26 episodes or whatever that are English sub. Um, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. And I've watched uh, some of the Dragon Ball Z. Like I never got that far into it. But most of the animes that people like, the more popular ones, like, I don't know. I just haven't really gotten around to watching them. I'm not, I don't hate the animes, just haven't gotten to them. All right, we'll keep two of those. Or we'll make two of those. We'll keep the one just so I have it. Uh, so we need gold. But I wouldn't say that I'm big into anime. Pregnant letter. Letter. Impregnate letter. We do it with this one. I bet we can. Do it. That'll give us a discount too when we're doing crafting. <clears throat> I've never seen bleach, no. Wait, the game's out. This changes everything. From what I, if you're talking about Attack on Titan, the game, from what I've seen, like, I watched Man vs. Gameplay, like, a little bit of it, and it seemed like it was scene for scene copying the anime. I don't, I didn't watch the entire playthrough. I don't know how long the game is, but at least the first portion, like, mirrors exactly what's in the anime. So I don't know. It's not like a different story, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's what it seemed like. Uh, but what I hear is that they nailed the mechanics in the game, so if that means anything to you, whether that affects your decision or not. Um, so I've made that. We're going back to the Thaumonomicon, Arcane Ear, and the Sinister Lodestone. Arcane Levitator. Let's do the infusion thing. This is something we're going to need. So that is Fabrico to Magic, and that is one, two, three, four, five spots. Um. All right, so we're going Instrumentum Ordo Motus. Air. Uh, Vacuous. And then Fabrica or the Machina or Machida, however you want to see it. That is one, two, three, four, five speed. You love Naruto? I've watched a little bit of Naruto as well. I've watched a little bit of that. I also watch a little bit of the Pokemon series. I'm trying to think of any other animes. Like the, um, Oh yeah, I did watch a little bit of Full Metal Alchemist. The uh, the earlier one, not the Brothers one. Um, 
that might be about it on my anime watching. Like, it hasn't been a whole lot. I haven't watched a lot of it. Ordo Modus. Volatus Modus. Done. Boop. Oh, we can purchase these. Boop, boop. Boots of the Traveler. Lamp of Fertility. Lamp of Growth. They unlocked all of these. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I bet Magic Mirror is what it is that we're missing for this. I bet. Oh, we got a thing. Essential Provider. Nice. That's another one we're going to want to do. Let's just purchase that now. Okay, so Magic Mirror, so Vitreous to Eider. To Eider. And that is three spots. Boop, boop. So Terra Eider Modus. And then uh, Vitreous to Tenebrae. And that is four spots. Uh, Ordo Potentia Ignis. Ignis. Lux. And then Tenebrae to Aliens. And that is three. Oh, what am I using to help with this? Here, I'll uh, link it. That is the uh, Thoundcraft research guide that I use for doing this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, you got to make sure you switch the version to the right version. This one is 4.2.2, I think. It defaults to 5, which is wrong. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm using. It's wrong for this pack, I should say. It's not just wrong. Uh, so Vacuos, Air, and Lux. We had another research to do. Let's do this one. Whew. All right, so we have a census to Machina. And that is one, two, three, four, five spaces. All right, so we're going to air arm, air Velatus. Uh, to Modus. Done. Whoa, that's the wrong one. Modus. Done. So one, two, three, four, five, six over to... Pokemon is only about 20 years old, right? Came after your time. You didn't grow up with it, so it's not something that ever interests you. Your grandson, however, loves it. So do his parents. Right. It was after my time, too. I felt like I was probably a year or two older than the generation, or at least the kids that were playing Pokemon and handheld gaming. I was really never a fan of handheld gaming. Like, I played the original Nintendo, like the brick Game Boy, the big, the fat one, the original one. Um, and that was the only handheld gaming I ever played. I had friends that had like the PlayStation Portable, I guess, or whatever those was, but it just never really interested me at all. So I never played any of the Pokemon games. 
Pokemon Go was like literally the first one I ever played. Let's be honest, that game's not that great. Let's be honest about that. All right, so we need to go Spiritus Victus Limus. Victus Limus. Uh, Victus Santa. The Game Boy non-color? No, it had color. It was gray and like puke green or something, right? So one, two, three, four, five from Ordo to Magic. All right, so Vacuos, Fames, Victus. Uh, Terra Vitreus. Ooh, we got another one. The Fusion Provider here. We still didn't unlock that guy. Dang it. Let's get this one. Whew. These are a little tough, right? But not tough. Just like a long process. That's one, two, three, four, five. From Census to Machina. Oh, another thing. Or Machina, or whatever that's called. Extreme Hit Girl just subscribed. Thank you very much. For the subscription, I'm glad you're enjoying Thomcraft Research so much. I decided to subscribe, but no, seriously, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, air, ara, air. Whoop. Air, ara, air, or ara, ara, um, air. Uh, Volatus and Modus. If you count puke green as a color. I remember that they came out with the Game Boy Color like a couple years later. And apparently all the original games were actually in color, but they were just like converted to grayscale for that screen. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm trying not to. Ah. I think we're fine. Nobody panic, I think we're fine. Uh so Machina. See, this is one of those ones where I think it would be like you have to connect to one of here, like if you're connecting from this to there. I think it's easier just to go this way to here and then over to this way. This is actually so interesting. I know, right? Uh, do you ever like Mario? If so, were you a fan? Yes. Uh, the original Mario or I guess Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. That was probably one of my favorite games as a kid. Um, I think they had that on arcade machines too back in the day. I remember pumping in a lot of quarters to play that. Uh, we actually had the Atari 2600 before we got our Nintendo, which is like really old. And then had like the original Mario Brothers on there. That was a strange game compared to Super Mario Brothers. All right, welcome back, MC Killer Dex. Hey man, I heard you can charge your wand with mob drop. Can you please do it again? Oh yeah, uh, it's very simple. When you kill monsters, they drop like these little orbs. Let's see the different color orbs down there. Those are all different aspects. All you gotta do is just walk over with your wand in your hand and you pick those up. Like so. Now wand's fully charged. So if you have a mob grinder, very easy way to charge your wand. Although eventually you'll want to get a CV node and that'll automatically charge your wand. Like it'll send that laser beam over and just send a constant stream. That's like the best way, but if you have a mob grinder set up, it's definitely a good way to do it. Just collect those little orbs with your wand. Not the experience orbs, the little colored ones. It's MC Killer DE with some X's. I see it as Dex. You should have done the capitalization the other way. Just saying. Zelda was awesome and yes, yeah. Uh the original gold cart for Zelda. I remember playing that um 
I spent hours and hours and hours, probably days more like playing through those games. Like I played a lot of Nintendo games as a kid. Like there's a lot of them I'll go back to. Like um, I've seen people have them. How? Like I guess that would have been like through an emulator is what I've seen people play before. But there was games like Blaster Master. I know I spent days and days and days playing it as a kid. Like I've seen somebody play that before and I just don't recognize that at all. But I know I spent so long playing that game. It's just weird going back to some of those games. Like I know I played and I put in a lot of time like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo. I know I put in lots of time, even though that game was probably one of the harder games on the Nintendo. I don't remember anything about it. I remember the water level and like the stuff that zaps you in there and that that's about it and for some reason uh the enemies were driving like steamrollers and they'd roll you over that's like all i remember about the game it's crazy um so we need four spots potentia ignis tell them potentia ignis tell them and instrumentum all right, so magic to recycle. I can never remember the name of that. I just call it recycle. Exchange, permutatio. Uh, that is four spots. Don't forget Sonic 3D on the Sega. I never had a Sega. So I never really played that. I had people, I had friends, I had people. I had friends that had the Sega and they brought it over every now and then. And we'd play some Sonic, but I never really was into Sega. Link to the Past was a really, really good uh, Super Nintendo game. I enjoyed that. Remember the original adventure game on Atari 2600? You got to move square block around. Yeah, we had adventure. And that game was just crazy. <laughs> like, I remember putting in a lot of time on that game too. And like, it is literally just blocks, like, like pixels. You can't even make out that your guy that you're playing as a guy with a sword really um so anyway we are doing potentia ordo instrumentum bum, bum, bum. potentia ordo instrumentum read this and ordo oops not get out of there ordo and then Modus to that one. Not Mortis, Motus. Three spots. Uh, Examus, Motus, or I'm sorry, Examus, Mortis, Vicio. Uh, this one? Yep. For some reason, I thought I was doing that wrong. I've run out of ink, but I did it right. All right, how are we doing? We, we got everything unlocked here that we can't unlock. We still need this unlocked so we can do the import and export buses. <clears throat> Yeah, it's only been up for 28 minutes. We had to restart the stream, so that's in incorrect. All right, so going back to, I guess, Artifice? I wish I knew which one it was that I needed for this. I guess I'm researching whatever that was I just clicked on. That was a mistake. I don't have the required aspects to purchase that. Let's just purchase this. Bum, bum. Okay, that didn't do anything for us, but we got those all ready to go for later, I guess, if we're ever gonna do golems. 
So that is not stuff that we need. Oh, there's another way you can make a V filter. Okay. Atomic tinkering. I don't think any of these other ones are going to be what we need. I think it's got to be something under like either the basic thaumaturgy, alchemy, or artifice. We should probably just do that one. The deconstruction table. This is going to be an easy one, I'm sure. I've run out of ink. Yeah, Civilization 2 and Civilization, those were games that I played a lot of back in the day, too. I remember playing Solar Winds, and I think there was another one that I played in space. I didn't think it was, maybe it was just Solar Winds. I thought there was another one that I played. I can't remember. Um, was it Solar Winds that was like Civilization in space? Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, other games I played there are um, around that same time would be like the King's Quest games, Space Quest, all those old Sierra point and click games. Those were really fun when I was younger. I don't know how well they would have held up over time. I think they've re-released those games. I think they have. Uh, this one, Victus and Spiritus. Am I excited for Civilization 6? No, <laughs> I'm not. I enjoy the game, or at least I did, but in my opinion, they're not really fun to watch, and most of the games I play nowadays are games that I can either stream or uh, record for YouTube. So if they're not going to do good for those particular platforms, I generally stay away because I have other things that I need to spend my time on. There's not too many games I play without recording. Uh, Overwatch is one of those games. Oops, not that. I try not to spend like a ridiculous amount of time. Like I play maybe six to eight hours a week, maybe, if that. No. No. I did not unlock it. I better oh we unlocked these somehow okay probably gonna need to do all of these so we can oh can we click the purchase click the purchase oh yes Oop. do it i love click the purchase it's so good What am I trying to unlock? I am trying to unlock the import export buses from Thomic Energistics. And there's some other research I need. I mean, obviously we got to go through all of these research and unlock them all eventually, but I'm looking for the one specifically for this. And I don't know what that is. So we're kind of going through the basic Thomcraft progression, getting the wands unlocked and anything else that kind of is related to um, alchemy, I guess. Like we've already done all the automated alchemy stuff over here. And that hasn't unlocked anything. There's like this stuff and this, which I don't think really is a, anything we need. I don't really care about metal transmutation, but I might need that to unlock the thing. I don't know. Sanity check. We've only done like two things that have given us warp. So it's not a thing I'm really concerned about. Um... I'm just kind of looking around, make sure we haven't unlocked anything. Uh, we might need the robes and stuff. No, advanced notes tapping. Oh, that's something we do want though, right? If we ever use nose for recharging our wand, like drawing directly from them. I guess we'll grab that one too. All right, let's do this one. So that is modus to Eider, I think. Or is that, this, this starts with a T, doesn't it? Tell him. Is it tell him? Let's tell them. I remembered. All right, let's do that one. Uh, that is Perdicio Jellum Ignis. Oh, 
Lag. Great, I just waste one. Perdicio Ignis. And then modus to air. Three fine connection. So that is Victus, Spiritus, and Sentus. Census. Victus. Okay, what? Hold on. That is not right. I have this wrong thing selected. Somehow we switched. That's Bestia Modus Velatus. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I saw a button, I clicked it without even thinking what I was doing. What did I screw up here? This. That's why this isn't working because I had that on the wrong one for this one. So that's modus to tell them. Bisha Panis Instrumentum, great. Instrumentum. Uh, Speedy Ducky, you said you have an NES at your summer house and you play Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble! I completely forgot about that game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I put in so many hours in Bubble Bobble. So many quarters, too. Like, I used to spend so much money at the arcade way back in the day. Do you have any consoles? If not, that's fine. Consoles are for any, anyone or everyone. I do have a uh, PlayStation 4. I'm pointing like you can't see it. It's underneath this monitor. I'm actually using it as a monitor stand. And then I have a Xbox One over here, which you can't see. Yeah, you can't see it. An Xbox One controller. Uh, I have the original Xbox, I think, somewhere. Um... Silent, wait, hold on a second. Let me scroll down. The Silent Souls dropped 128 bits in the chat. Bubble, bubble. Thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate that. Yeah, I still have my original Xbox uh, and PlayStation 2, both of which I chipped a while ago so I could put different things on there and stuff. Other reasons why you chip consoles. Um, I have the Xbox 360 in my closet, I think. I have, yeah, the Xbox One, PlayStation 4. So those are the consoles that I have right now. Uh, my Xbox One, or my original Xbox, I had chipped so I could put Xbox Media Center on there so I could stream YouTube and Shoutcast Radio and other things like that. It was really cool getting Xbox Media Center on the original Xbox. You're only 18 and remember those days? Eh, maybe. Maybe. Big time PlayStation hacks. Yeah, I might have copied PlayStation games back in the day for my own personal use after renting them or borrowing them for friends, maybe. I'm not saying that I did or did not. I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations. But my Xbox... Um, I did that so I could install games to a hard drive. Um, I did that so I could put Xbox Media Center on there. There was a lot of reasons why I wanted to do that for the Xbox. Whoa, the base is looking cool. I haven't been here for a while. Awesome, Pie Man. Glad you like it. All right, so we got this one to do. Let's do this one. Whatever this one was. This is Advanced Node Tapping. Uh, Permutatio to Aurum. Aurum. Uh, that is three spots for D show taint and magic taint magic boop and then RM to magic which would be arm magic arm magic I think 
I think there might be a better way to do this, but that's the way we're doing it. Oh, I did that in the Oh my goodness, fail. Arm magic, arm magic arm. Fail. Anyway, uh, magic to Motus. Yeah. Motus. Uh, there it is. That's three spots. Find it. All right, so Taint, Perdicio, and the Bear Trap. Okay. Taint. Purdy shoe and the bear trap looking thing done. Boop. All done. Um, we do it. We haven't done the thing yet. It's only to do the thing. I kind of feel like it's probably going to be down this progression, but I don't know. It might be the wand caps. Let's go and grab those. Do these. Uh,. The basement still looks like a spaghetti mess, but everything on top looks nice. Sir, I disagree. I like my wires. I think they look fantastic. They're all organized. I did change this up. Before, we had uh, this wire as a straight wire. And we had both of these going underneath, which looked kind of weird. So I rearranged that one. I like the underside. It looks like stuff is actually happening. But, you know... It might not be your thing. I think it looks cool. You remember life before MTV? Was there a life before MTV? I remember when MTV actually played music videos. I'm that old. Um... His wires are fabulous. I don't know if they're fabulous. We'd have to make them a rainbow color in order to really make them fabulous, but they look okay. They look all right. So arm. You know what, guys? We've been going for like two and a half, about two hours and 40 minutes since my last break. Just saying. I might want to take a break and fill up my coffee. My last sip. We're going to have to take a break here pretty soon. Uh, so that's two spaces away. Oh, what? That's probably not the way we want to go then. Uh, let's try going arm to Fabrico. Yeah, it looks like in order to go from arm to Metallum, we have to jump one, two, three, four spots. That's just probably not a great, probably not a great way. Let's do arm to Instrumentum. That's still three spots. Magic, Potentia, Ordo. Magic, Potentia, Ordo. We're going Instrumentum to Luckrum. You you remember Real World versus Road Rules? So you're right there with me? Yeah. Uh, Hypno, I'm trying to duplicate Iridium. Can you show me how to make more on Creative, please? Uh, do you like FPS games? If so, which what is my favorite one? The only FPS games that I play right now is like Overwatch, but I was a fan of the Halo games before 343 Studios on Xbox. The ones Bungie did. I never tried Destiny yet, so I haven't tried that one. Um, and yeah, SD says she remembers MTV when it did music. Um, so in order to do what we're doing to make Iridium, we're making UU Matter. We're making it really fast right now. The UU Matter is being dumped into a replicator, which is set to make Iridium Ore. And the way you do that is you get like a scanner. You put an Iridium Ore in here with a crystal memory. You let it do its thing. Save it to that memory. Put the memory in the pattern storage. Uh, import from crystal. So it's here. And then you just set your replicator to that pattern. Pattern storage has to be touching the replicator. And then from there, it's just making UU Matter faster and faster. Uh, so pump in a bunch of EU and scrap or scrap boxes. Yep. The faster you go, the faster you need to make scrap. We have a lot of cobblestone being generated, being turned into scrap right now.
Yeah, it's a lot to remember. You might want to go off to the wiki. Um, it was very confusing for me when I first learned how to do it. Now it's just like, oh, it's pretty easy. But yeah, uh, so you need to scan it, put it onto a crystal memory, put the crystal memory into a, into a pattern storage, and make sure the pattern storage is touching your replicator. The pattern storage is what contains all the recipes the replicator knows how to make. All right, so instrumentum to Lucrum. But yeah, I definitely recommend the wiki. That's probably the way to go. Uh, Fabrico and Humanus. Um, Fabrico. And Lucrum to Metallum. So that's Fames, Victus, and then Terra. There we go. Do this other one. Ooh. We got to where we need to be yet? Seriously? No. Yeah, please don't spam in the chat. That's a fast way to get yourself uh, permanently banned. This is the problem with Thomcraft research. 100% agree. I'm not a fan of doing it, but it, we have to do it. It absolutely has to be done so we can start doing applied energistics with Thomcraft and getting this stuff all automated. 100% agree, but we got to do it. Um, I think there's also, I could be wrong. I think there's also an achievement for unlocking the entire book, at least the base on craft stuff, like doing all those researches. Uh, so we're probably going to want that as well anyway. Uh, so magic, potential, ordo, vitrus. Uh, magic, potential... Yeah, potential. Porto. Vitreous. The metallum to magic. Is that connected? Yeah, that's right. I kind of, like, I said this before. I feel like Thomcraft, since it makes you do all this research, there should be a way where you can export your knowledge, go to a new world, and then import it or maybe have it saved somewhere in some server or there's gotta be something that can be done because it's just kind of silly that you have to do this each and every single time that you start a new world. Yeah, I could manually copy my Thomcraft research from one world to another, but that's cheating. So four spot connection uh, vacuous things. Pick this Terra. I mean, this is, especially with what the way I'm doing right now, the mini game, it's kind of like silly because it's just a matter of, you know, finding out how they connect and just dragging the things over there. Like the hardest part of this is getting to the aspects to refill this thing back up, which is another thing we're gonna have to work on. How did I come up with my name? Um, I, I was just thinking of a username one day and I think I saw a license plate that had the name hypnotized on it and it was just kind of stuck in my mind. So that was the name I came up with just to reuse that one. I believe that was the original way I came up with the name. It was just because I needed a name to go by on the internet. There's like no real backstory behind it. It was just a name that I chose. That's about it. I know it's not that, not that exciting. But I did need a name, and that's what I did. Oop. Okay, so we still got the silver wood. We should probably do the silver wood. Uh, yeah, let's do the silver wood.
You think you need filtered essential tubes before the buses? You looked at the code of the mod. Thank you. That's all I care about. <laughs> so how do we get the filtered essential tubes? Isn't that? No, we have these. We're done. We already have this research. I take my thank you back. I'm just kidding. Thanks for at least trying. Uh, we have that unlocked so we can do the filtered essential tubes. Like we have all of this stuff done. There's something else that we're missing specifically for this. If you don't mind me asking how old are you? I bet he's 62. Boom, boom. All right, let's do our Silverwood Wand. Oh, did I not click the research? Or did I not make the research? Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry. Uh, so, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Magic to instrumentum. Seven spots. Do it. Oof. Okay, so we're going to tell him Ignis. We tell him Ignis. Uh, Infernus Ignis Ira. Infernus Ignis Ira. That's the wrong one. Uh, Ignis Infernus. That's not it. This one. All right, then we need to go magic to Arbor. And that is going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots as well. The way you said do it reminds you of Abe's Odyssey. Do it. I, I honestly don't know what that is. All right, so Arbor goes to Air Lux Ignis. Air Lux Ignis. Tell him Ira Ignis. And in furnace. Oof, that was a pain. Oop. All right, so crafting scepters and then magic staves. Did we do the thing? Nope. The fusion core, warded jar. Warded jar, that's probably something. We have the glass files. Where's a warded jar at? Maybe... We have a worded jar. Oh, that's void jar. We already have a worded jar. Uh, filtered essentia. I don't know where the diffusion core is. Where is that one? Isn't that, isn't that this? Isn't that this? Hey, we already have that stuff unlocked. So there's something else. Oh, scan the tubes to unlock the research? Oh, that might be a thing. I didn't even think about that. We have the tubes? Did I make tubes? Nope. How do we make uh, the essential tube? Gold nugget, quicksilver, iron. Got a lot of this stuff. Um, glass. Can you not scan these? Seriously? Okay.
filtered essential tubes let's make one of these so that's one of those plus the v filter i haven't scanned these either i should probably do that Did that do the thing? Nope, still locked. <clears throat> what do you think about the new YouTube content? Not getting monetized for no reason thing? Oh, uh, there's reasons. There's absolutely no reason. There isn't a thing where YouTube isn't monetizing videos for no reason. They're not monetizing videos that are not advertiser friendly. UU Matter is made specifically with energy going into the mass fabricator. Scrap and scrap boxes just makes that go faster. I believe it makes it more efficient, actually. Uh, do you know a good free online Java course, Speedy Ducky? I don't know of one that's free and online. However, I would recommend going to YouTube. I know there's lots of people out there that make tutorials and things like that for YouTube specifically for that. I can't recommend anything because I don't know of one to recommend, but that's where I'd go if you're looking for free. Just search for YouTube or search on YouTube. Um, all right. Tell you guys what I need a break. I need a break. Uh, my, my mouth is getting parched. I need more coffee. And then you stand up and stretch and use the restroom and all these different things. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we do the most interesting thing in modern Minecraft, which is Thumbcraft Research. Anyway, uh, we're still trying to unlock the Thomic Energistics so we can do the export and the import buses. I don't know what it is that we have to unlock, so we're trying to do like the normal progression. Uh, we're gonna unlock everything until we find it or unless somebody figures it out and tells me what I, exactly it is that I need to do either way uh, We need to get this done so we can automate our thong craft so we can make Thaumium automated so we can start doing the draconium blocks and things like this Then we're gonna have to get into mid into Metania into Batania to make mana Get that automated so we can make all of the mana steel and eventually Terra Steel, because we're going to need that as well. Anyway, guys, we'll be back in about three minutes. Beer B.
All right, guys, let's get back to it then. So we need the node stabilizer. Yeah, we done the essential crystallization, Josh. Uh, that would make sense. The node stabilizer. I don't think we have that research available yet, and I'm not sure where that is. That would be under artifice, I believe. Node stabilization. I'm not sure. I guess we need to like, hmm. Yeah, I think that's the, is that the recharge pedestal? What is this thing? I'm not sure. All right. It's either going to be that or under, um, uh, under here. Oh no, it's right here. That's the wand recharge pedestal. So we need to unlock something here. Uh, do I have to scan a node? I don't remember if I scanned a node yet. That might unlock this. That's the node stabilization. And this is the thing turned into the CV node, I think. And that's the wand recharge pedestal. Did we do advanced node tapping? Maybe that's what we need. Master node. Oh, let's node preserver. Let's do these two. That might be what unlocks it. I haven't found a node yet. I think we might need to do these. Now that I kind of know what it is that we need to get to, I have a better idea of what researches we need to do to get to that point. Uh, so let's try doing these real quick. I mean, we're going to eventually have to do all of these. So it's not a bad thing that I'm doing the other ones, but to get where I need to go right now, um, our, um, that's one, two, three, four, five spots. Oh yeah. I know where to find the nodes. It's just, I haven't gone down to look for them because I haven't had a reason to yet. Uh, air arm freaking tissue. magic as i call it because i don't know how to say this word right i say precantatio precantatio I, I, what magic in furnace magic and then we need to go from rm over probably from census to electrum read and that is a one two three four five spotter the Spiritus Mortis Victus. Mortis. Mortis. Victus. Uh, Bisha Humanus. All right, so we're going from, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, we're going from the recycle thing, premutatio exchange to Aurum. And that is three. The Perdicio victim, precantatio. Vidium. I think I've been saying that one wrong too. I just call it taint. Radicio. Uh all right, so that over to Motus. And that is a one, two, three, four spot. Ordo Motus Air. We're almost out of air, and that sucks because I don't know what we're going to do about that Velatus. And Modus over here to magic. I guess we could do magic arm, magic arm. That'd probably be the best way. Mm. 
note in a jar that's probably what's gonna unlock this over here oh it's unlocked so what's a good way to refill my air i can't remember i know if we put like the crystals around it'll recharge let's do that do we have air crystals But the recharging is slow. Um, sandstone slab. Um. Deconstruction table. That's what I'm looking for. Deconstruction table plus uh, crafting tables. Right. Mixed clusters, bookshelves. Okay. Bookshelf. I don't know if I've ever done this particular thing before. Uh, bookshelf, bookshelf. Oh, bookshelf. Bookshelf. Mixed. Mixed. Here, here. This should get a little star next to it. Hey, it takes a minute for this to update. Knowledge fragments. I don't think we have any. We have nine. Look at how many of these unknown dimlets we have that we'll never be able to use. Why you know? Oh, we should probably scan the clusters too, huh? There's nine research points. I thought having the cluster nearby gave this a little star. I guess maybe that updates every now and then. Oh, I see that thing. Now they got charges in them. There it is. There it is. We had to wait. Now, does that give you extra aspects? Like, does that keep charging it up? It just gave us 10 points, right? We were down to one. Like, how often does it do that? Can you use UU Matter to duplicate knowledge fragments? Pretty much the only thing you can do with UU Matter, this isn't always the case, there are some exceptions, but expect you'll be able to duplicate pretty much everything from vanilla, like most vanilla blocks, not all of them, most vanilla blocks, and then pretty much everything from IC2. Beyond that, there's certain things you can replicate, but most you can't, like it won't even be able to be scanned. Like I think I was able, I felt like I was able to replicate, um, Translocators, or maybe it was something like that. I remember somebody brought that up in the comments when I was playing through expert mode. They said, oh, you can replicate this. And I was like, nah, you can't. It's not IC2. But it turned out I could. So some certain items from certain mods can be, but it's like 99% you can't. It's weird. I don't know. Oh, I just placed that. Where is my pick? Right there. So we're up to 10. Does that just keep it stocked with 10 because I have the mixed clusters nearby? I'm not sure how this all works. 
Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so let's continue on. So we're doing Potentia to Aurum. <clears throat> you can spawn in a Peck Forager. I think there was a way that I saw that we could do that. Oh, that's right. We got the extra research points because I scanned the uh, the crystal cluster. So I think it'll always just keep one restocked. I was thinking it was going to give us 10 points. No, I was just confused. Uh, three spaces. The potential of the Precantatio to Magic Aura Air. Air Aura Magic. And then we're going from potential to ordo. I think that's just potential ordo, potential ordo, right? Some of these I remember. Wait, doesn't potential have ordo in it? It does. Potential, ordo, potential, ordo, then potential. Or we could go ignis, telum, instrumentum. That's probably why it has that because less spaces used. Ignis. All right. Discovered. Node stabilization. Uh, where's my Thaumonomicon? There we go. Wand recharge, advanced node stabilizer, harnessing V. That probably might be the one we need. Let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five. So potential to Aurum. Uh, what is my favorite video that I've ever done? Uh, I like the one that I did a while ago. It was an April Fool's prank where I uh, copy pasted my base from like Kermit Craft season one into, I think it was a season two or maybe a season three, the one with the towers. I thought that was pretty funny. Got a lot of people upset. There's also another one where you turn the, um, I think that pyramid into diamonds. I can't remember if that was the same one or not. That might've been a different video. Hello, Fallen Angel Noah. Yeah, uh, if I would've just set this up to be completely automated with, with logistics pipes, I would have set up all the songcraft stuff to be automated with logistics pipes. We would have been done by now, but I'm just hard headed about it. And I don't want to set that up. Tensha to Aurum. All right. So Ignis and Furnace, Ignis and Furnace. Wait. Yeah. The magic. Uh, in Furnace. Ignis and Furnace, Ignis. Well, you know, I'm out of ink. Am I? I'm not wasting the points, just not doing anything. All right. Oh, place it. Done. So, Potentia over to Machina. Or Machina, or however you say it. One, two, three, four, five spaces. Find connection. Magic RM Air. Magic RM Air. That's Bestia. Air. I'm going to waste so many points doing that. Uh, Velatus Modus. Nvidia. You may also need to scan the Thomic Energistics cores to unlock buses. That's possible. That is possible. Machina is the correct pronunciation. It, it's very possible. I don't know. I find myself not being able to English words or I guess Latin words right. Enunciate. Pronounce. Pronunciate. Something like that. 
Uh, back. Yeah, there it is. We did it, boys. Mmm. It was this one. Harnessing V. Thank you, whoever sent me down this path for the node stabilization things. You're number one. Using V digitally. This is what we're looking for. All right. We're almost there. We're almost done for the day with this. Machina to Aram. Pronunciate. That is the correct English way of saying pronounce. When you don't know how to pronunciate a word. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Aram to Air to Volatus Modus. Okay, let me need to go Machina or do Vacuos. So one, two, three, four spots. Air Modus Eider. I almost did that the wrong spot. Uh, Modus Eider. Which one's either? The travel one. Uh, Modus again. Then Vacuos over to Potentia. And that's a space of three. Find it. Tenebrae, Lux, Ignis. Where's Lux? Then it passes. To my break. Boop. Boop. We did it, boys. We did it. I mean, obviously, we still got this thing unlocked or this thing locked. I don't think that's important at all. I think we've already unlocked everything that is important. What was the biggest goal you accomplished in this Minecraft world? So far, probably setting up automated resources like uh, our our sand, gravel, all that stuff being done. Other than that, just literally automating pretty much all the things or as much things as we've automated so far. Um, I think this is probably one of the coolest things that I've done because I've never done this before and it just makes sense. Setting up thermionic fabricator for each and every individual uh electron tube so every time you make them you just have more same thing for uh, all of these things just setting these up so we always have these in stock even though like these aren't used that much like when we do need them it just sucks having to take time and make them yourself the top oh yeah yeah golem that's right golem can crank the um what is that? The the grindstone? This I don't care about. It's never going to be a thing that we're ever going to use. I might just unlock it later just to unlock it, but I don't care about it. Um, So V relay interface. Yeah, we can start working. Oh, wait. This wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what I wanted. I already had it. We already had this unlocked. We still wanted the V interface though, but we already had what I was trying to unlock unlocked. So, uh, so uh, that happened. I don't know what to say to that. We wanted this unlocked anyway. We didn't need it unlocked right this second, but we got it done. So now we don't have to do it later, I guess. So it's not all for naught, but it sucks because I didn't need that right now. But I mean, I guess it's fine. Oh, well, uh, what we need to do right now is make a red, brown and gold mixed ceramic tile. 
What we need to do right now is set up digital storage for our Thoncraft stuff and start pumping in the essence to have that automatically processed and turned into the liquefied form. So we're going to need to set up a 64 key digital storage for the, or I'm sorry, essential storage. Uh, we need one for each of the four, six base aspects and another one for RM, I believe, because that's one that we have a lot of. Uh, like, well, we don't have a lot of it, but each one of these essence gives you like two of whatever the item is, plus two more of Aurum. So we need like a large storage for that as well. Uh, all these other ones we can just put on random. Those don't matter. But 64K for all of these, six. And then one more. So we need seven 64Ks. Uh, so in order to make all of that stuff, we need a bunch of junk. Uh, yeah, this all has to be done on the arcane work table. It's fun. Maybe we should look at making a better wand just so we can hold more V. So we unlock the, uh, the silverwood wand. Let's can we make that or do we have to do that on the infusion? Yeah, that has to be done with arcane infusion. So we can't do that. I guess the great wood wand that we have right now is the best we can do until we get this set up. How much does a great wood wand hold? 50. All right. So to make these, we're just going to make as many as we can. The so gold logic processor. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. This. Yeah, gold logic processor. Let's do a stack and a stack of the ethereal essence. Uh, quartz. Essence, uh, which one? I guess we have more air than anything. We have two of those. Um, Codeman X just dropped 100 bits in the chat. Hey, Hypno, thanks for your help last week. You have a lot of auto crafting going on now. You demand. Well, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate that. Wands are better in Thomcraft 5? Probably. I, mean, I hope that they have fixed a lot of the issues. Well, there's not really issues. A lot of the things that kind of suck in Thomcraft 4 and Thomcraft 5. That would be what I hope for. I was only able to make 16. It lied to me. I guess we can't do that. Fill it up. Yeah, doing this is like super, super easy when you got a mob farm. For sure. Imagine going around to like all the nodes and waiting for those nodes to recharge and all that stuff. Oh, that would suck so bad. Just set up a mob farm. Done. <laughs> You're right about the filtered essential tubes, though the though your face when you figured out what happened was priceless. But <laughs> well, thank you very much for helping me along either way. Um, yeah, I wish Thomcraft wasn't so like mysterious about what you have to do. So we'll fill this up again. Should put on Google's. Should put on Googles. I should put on Googles, guys. Um, 
I should put on goggles. Right. I should put on goggles for doing that. I should make the... I should make the robes. I should be all Harry Potter about it. I really should. Uh, can we do the... What is it cost for this stuff? The enchanted fabric, golden thread. We can do that. We probably should do the entire thaumaturge set so we get the discount, but we have literally inf infinite V, so I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much, but you're right, it would be better. I mean, this is like super easy to do, if I can do that. Um. Tile.block inhibitor obelisk.name. That's a cool. It's a cool item. It's up there in my top 10, I'd probably say, as far as items go. Uh, I, anyway, let's go back to 64K. So we have the 1Ks done. We can make the 4Ks. So we need two essence, quartz glass, and calculation processors. Quartz glass, let's make that many. We don't need that many, but we're making that many just because it's fast, doesn't matter. Uh, what else do we need? I guess just four stacks of Ethereal Essence. Probably only need like two stacks, to be honest. Actually, maybe one stack would have been enough. So it's this plus what this and these you can't do the, the drag thing that's annoying Doot. almost enough to do them all Uh, Hypno, can you dupe solar panels like the ultimate ones or leadstone? You used to be able to do that. They have restricted that. Uh, you're not allowed to do that anymore. But you can replicate things like um, the carbon plates, rubber, copper cables, um, pretty much all the components that go into it. The quantum core, you can't replicate that. You'll throw away all your iridium if you try. It'll just give you like a, a iridium or a... Um, a uranium ingot as a recipe so be really careful you might want to try scanning things in creative first before you go all in and try them in your regular world because things can screw up like that or maybe just respawn it back in for yourself whatever but um something like that so we got 4k we have an extra 1k i feel like we should do two more 1ks I don't think we're ever going to use a 1k storage for anything. Uh, then we need some Surtis. Hey, what was the recipe? The This way? There it is. And that one of those and one of those. All right. Clean up the old inventory. Probably don't need the Thumbnomicon or the bookshelves anymore or that. Actually, we probably do need that, don't we? To scan these. Should have done the 1K. I didn't. Yeah, don't forget to scan them. Yeah, the same idea I did. Hypno, last thing. Ingots. You should be able to scan and do ingots. You might try the ores. You might be better off doing that. Uh, most of the UU matter 
it's kind of like if you can get more resources out of something or if it costs more it's gonna be more expensive to make so you might want to try both it might be better to do the ore and then double it like you know your normal grinding and smelting as opposed to just doing the ingot straight up i don't remember everything that you can scan with that most of the time it's hit or miss i remember iridium because that's like the main reason you want to set up a replicator is to make iridium but as far as everything else i don't really remember all right so to make the 16k ones we need salus mundus which means <sighs> I feel like we should set the thaumatorium for this. Maybe we should just use like uh, the 4Ks for now. Hmm. Oh, we do have some balance shards. Not a, not a whole lot though. Okay, yeah, getting all these different shards. That's gonna be a I guess the fire one's probably the easiest, right? So we should like smelt down all these other ones. Let's go ahead and make the housing. So warded glass. How do we get that? Mana glass. Oh no! We might not even be able to do this yet. What does it take to make that? The alchemic chemistry set master archmage transcendent eldritch apprentice is that the lowest level i don't remember nope that's tier two dang it so we need to set up a tier two altar in order to make this from blood magic and this requires an apprentice as well so we need a tier two blood altar from blood magic to do digital thomcraft stuff Great. i mean that's super easy all you need is just like eight altar stones ritual stones what whatever they're called i don't remember rune stones that's like literally the easy literally the easiest thing to do except expert mode oh that's easy well that, that's that's easy blunt in here i thought that was going to be a pain a uh, balance shard any shard blank slate arcane stone block we can duplicate that with the conjuration which we don't have do we have any arcane stone you know what guys streams over i'm done no we're done we're not doing this i'm cheating everything in forget this nonsense this sucks i'm just kidding we're gonna do it we're doing it you guys think i'm serious i'm not I'm doing it so we need to get some living rock and then oh that's any shard i thought that was balance shard that's easy just some stone easy uh stone. what is that stuff called living rock we don't even have any living rock all right let's farm up some living rock Boom. do the builders one but that's just kind of silly let's do stone i probably should make more pure daisies
Ba -bum. So what does it take to make the pure daisy? While we're waiting on this, we should probably just try making that. To make a pure daisy, we need... Uh, oh, that's super easy. Just mystical white petals. Do I really not have any way to get water to this thing up here? Guess not. Oh, all right. Uh, pop, 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 this thing. Dirt. We really need to figure out where our, our permanent Batania area is going to be. All right, uh, so four petals in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four petals and a seed. There we go. <clears throat> Do I like coffee? Yes. That's what I drink. a lot more at a time now so we got 16 of these things uh to make the rune stone we need to make the blank slate which comes from the arcane stone block so four of those on a shard and then four stone thank goodness you get a lot of those at a time um okay, we don't have any slates okay so we need to make the rune stone blood rune okay so to make the slates we need to put the arcane stone in the blood altar great so that's easy enough Do we have plenty of hearts? Plus 10 HP, plus 10 HP, spam it! Another reason for having a uh, mob grinder going all the time is these things for blood magic. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, heaven to test, what is your favorite G? What is my favorite food to eat? Oh, that makes more sense. Um, I'm a big fan of like proper barbecued food, like slow cooked barbecue. I don't eat that all the time, obviously, but <clears throat> that'd probably be one of my favorite foods. I, I also like Chinese food. Doesn't matter what it is. Just most Americanized Chinese food I'll eat. Pizza's good. Burgers are good. I don't know if I would necessarily say I have a favorite.
Okay, um... We're trying to make these blood runes. That requires two each, so we need a total of 16 of these. For seven. Put away these other ones for now. Dude, your food likes are your kind of likes? Yeah, I, I enjoy most American foods. Like, Chinese food is mostly Americanized. It's not necessarily proper Chinese food, right? It's kind of weird. What's the best way to convert RF to EU? I would suggest using the immersive engineering, um, either MV or HV connectors, depending. Wait, texture packs can crash your game? I didn't know that before. That's another reason why I don't use texture packs now. Infinity of All Skyblock is better than Sky Factory. They are two completely different types of gameplay. One of them is hard, grindy, and will last you a long time. The other one is like super easy, easier to get resources, easier to get overpowered. So it's two different styles of gameplay. In my opinion, I would say this is probably better, but that might not be the opinion that you have. I have never played Sky Factory before. So I can't say either way. All right, so here we go. Here is our 16 of these. Now we need to put some flint in the thingy. Wait, where's our thingy? Right here. <clears throat> now I don't remember if this changes into something because we have the conjuration. Yeah, that'll change in there. Gotta give me this thing. What those do we need? Just one per craft, and we need eight of those, so I made twice the amount. That's fine. It'll be good for later. Um, Do we have everything we need now? Shard. We need the blood orb. Right. How do we make the apprentice blood orb? To do that, we need to get Prismarine from Batania. So Alchemy Catalyst plus Nether Quartz. Easy. We have all the nether quartz. We have the alchemy catalyst. Why did I make that much? I don't know why I made that much. Hey, what? Hold on. Oh, that's around a brick or this is around a cobble. Okay. There we go. So I guess before we could do that, we have to put the uh, the runes underneath there, right? Let's make those eight runes then. Trying to get ahead of myself over here. Oh, we don't even have the tier one orb yet, do we? Uh, so a mana diamond, easy. Let's make the tier one, then we gotta make the uh, tier two. Am I gonna make the crate a strong box? I still gotta add the recipe to the to the mod pack. We probably will add it and we'll probably do it. Wow, 
Why do I put a mana pool in between generating flora? Um, I have it there because eight endo flames uh, can go to one mana spreader. That's about the only reason is because it's a repeatable thing. Find it. All right, so now we have LP network. So let's do our crafting. Yeah, we'll set that up in probably a different way. Uh, normally, the way I've done automated Batania is by spamming endo flames exactly like this is set up right here. Just making large amounts of these and having like a dropper that'll drop the right amount like every so often. I think I'd worked it out to like six seconds. That needs to drop one piece of coal. And then eventually all eight of those will catch up. And by the time I've done the ninth one, the first one stopped. We're not going to do that. We'll probably do like I'm doing in the regrowth series and do like the, um, either the food flower or some other method, like a, a better generation. But usually end of flame spam is what I've done before in the past. Um, all right, so we're making the blood rune. Let's not do air. Let's do fire. I have a lot more fire than that. All right, so there's fire and then this thing made one. Great. Oh, something's behind me, I think. What do we need there? Ah, the waste one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. And just for simplicity, we're just going to leave the altar. Here. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not going to be that guy. We're not going to be that guy. We're actually going to move it somewhere. I was almost that guy, but we're not going to be that guy. There we go. Two or tier two thingy. Let's fill this up full of some blood. Life essence. It's not blood. It's an orb. It's not a sacrificial dagger. All right. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Get in there. Do your thing, little buddy. How much does that cost? 5,000 Lincoln Parks. Great. I'm actually not sure how much the altar holds because I don't have the divination sigil at the moment. I assume we're going to have to refill this thing up like at least twice. No, I'm not really getting frustrated at magic mods. I'm just tired of doing Thongcraft research. Like I'll, I'll act frustrated or whatever. Be like, really? We got to do this. I know what the pack is. I've done the pack before. Um, I'm frustrated with Thongcraft research because I'm not playing this for the very first time. I'm not doing Thongcraft for the very first time. I've done Thongcraft six, seven, eight times before, and I've had to do this research six, seven, eight times before. And doing it again is just like uh, again so that's the only frustration i have with uh playing through this i just don't really want to do thongcraft research again but it's part of the, it's part of the pack it's designed around being locked out of certain things until you do other things so i can't really just skip it because i'll break the progression of the pack yeah 5000 lincoln park Um, okay, so we have this now, so that'll allow us to do the digital stuff. I can't remember what we had to do. Um, 
We're searching for this. Oh, warded glass is what it was, wasn't it? Because we're going to make these. Okay, so yeah, we need to do this stuff. That I'll can make a chemistry set. Just wait until you find out what it takes to make one of these. Oh, look, it's like nothing. Okay. We have blase rods. Yes, we do. Have I ever heard of a, a mod called Thomcraft minus Thomcraft? I don't need a mod to spawn in the, the book and get all the research that way. Like, I can literally do that if I wanted to do that. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that if I wanted to do that. So I don't need a mod to do it for me. But yes, I have heard of it. All right, so there's two of those. Wait, did I need two of those? I think I only need one of those. We'll probably end up wanting multiple of these for later on. I guess we can just keep these up here since we have our, um, our blood magic stuff, I guess. Uh, so... We needed to make for the water glass, the magic Alice magicalis, which is simple catalyst. So glowstone gunpowder, two stacks of redstone and sugar. Sugar, glowstone, I think gunpowder. Plus an orb, probably the uh, the lower tier one. Where's my lower tier orb? Did I put that? Oh, it's down in the crafting thing, isn't it? Dude, you're like 40. No, I'm actually like 62. I'm actually like 62. So guys, if you didn't know, Minecraft has an age restriction. Like, um, you can only be your mid twenties or so to play Minecraft. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually breaking the law by playing Minecraft at 62. If you guys didn't know that, now you guys know. Apparently I'm offending whoever this is in chat. Oh, you know what? We need to have LP in our network, don't we? Let me click this thing a few times. Oh, did I not bind it? Oh, it's bound. I just don't have any LP. I don't have any Lincoln parts. Breaking the law! No, it's making a simple catalyst. I don't need a tier two for this. I think I need the tier two for the next recipe, but not for that. Okay, so now the Magicalis or whatever. Yeah, this one needs the, the tier two. We need the simple catalyst, redstone, gunpowder, and glowstone. Oops. Gunpowder, glue stew. And a simple catalyst. Eight should be more than enough. Do I do games full time? I do. Yep. Uh, I've been a full-time YouTuber for a little over, well, about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitch is not my full-time thing. I am just started recently streaming uh, Monday through Friday about five months ago, I think. Something like that. Um, 
I think we're doing all right. We're doing pretty good. I would like to bring Twitch up to my YouTube level, so I'm getting like 50-50 income from that. But, you know, for right now, I can't really complain. Can't complain at all. You guys have been like super supportive of what I do here. Nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, snow and then simple. Yeah, my YouTube channel is on that one for the PC specs. That just takes you to the about page, but that's my channel. What did I do before YouTube? Before YouTube, um, I was a computer programmer, web dev. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing. A lot of computer programming. Before that, I was doing software testing. Before that, I was doing, I think I had an oil change job at like a local oil change shop. And previous to that... What did I do? I think I was working for a hardware company in California. Before that, I was doing tech support. And before that, what did I do before that one? I think I was working at another oil chain shop. <laughs> and before that, I think I was working at Little Caesars. I've had a few jobs. <clears throat> How much does my PC cost in total? I don't know. Normally what I do is I put together parts and I source parts from my other machines and then buy parts as I go. Like my monitors, do you count that as part of my computer? Do you count what part of my computer just what's in the box? Do you count the keyboard, the mixer, the microphone, the preamp, like all of my stuff that I use for my computer, the camera that I use? Like it's, if I add all that stuff together, it's probably gonna be a lot. I think we're out of Lincoln Parks again. It really just depends on what you consider. How much does my computer cost? The processor that I bought for my computer cost about $1,000 when I purchased it. Uh, the video card was like 600. Like it really just depends. Um, I really need to get a definition sigil so I can tell like how many, how much stuffs I have. Yeah, there it goes. It's cooking. Uh, you repair PCs on the site, had a, more than a few people say that they're going to bring the brain to you. I've known people that call it the hard drive. The entire tower, they call that the hard drive. So it's not uncommon that people that just have PCs to surf the net don't know what they're talking about. It's funny, but it's not uncommon. Uh, simple catalyst. I guess we'll stop this. We don't really need this going right now. I don't know how much stuff I have in the network. So let's just turn that off for the moment. We might need this still. All right, so warded glass. We need great wood planks plus zombie brain and then mana glass. Do do do. Uh, magic, crystalos, zambi brain. I 
And then finally some great wood. It's great. Um, how do we get the planks? I want to make a crease so it would block. So block cutter gets a six. Mana infusion gives us that. No, sawmill gives us six. All right, I guess we're doing sawmill. I wasn't sure if the sawmill gave four or six, but since it does give six, we're going to do this. What am I doing? Give me eight in one stack. Thank you. Do it. Boom, boom. Insufficient V. You have insufficient V. Is there a way to use the mob farm as a way to refill your life pool? Uh, later on, I'll be able to do a ritual from Blood Magic called the Well of Suffering. And any monsters that are in that Well of Suffering, they take damage like every few seconds. And the amount of damage they take can refill your blood altar. So, kind of, but not really. Pretty much the best way to do that, you want to uh, get witches. If we even go that method, we probably will. Uh, witches work. Villagers are also another good source. Uh, villagers, I think, produce the most amount of blood per tick damage. Is that right? I feel like that's right. I know I always used witches before, but I think villagers actually was better. It's been a while. There we go. Let's go and fill this thing back up. Whoop. And done. Oh, I know what time it is. Don't you think I don't? Well aware of that. Um. So now it's just thomium, some redstone, and then the warded glass. And then I think that works the same on any of those, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, so we have the warded glass. We just need to make some thomium real quick. Uh, Ender Pearls. Man of Steel. Let's grab a stack of iron. We're going to need some coal blocks. I don't think we're going to have enough mana in here to do a stack. Let's see what we can do. Not quite enough. All right. So it is four, eight pearls to uh, four mana steel. Probably this. All right. Uh, eight, four, click. Eight, four, click. Hopefully this will be one of the last times I have to do this. Oops, that screwed up. That's fine though. We got 30 of those. That should be enough. Um... Quartz block. All right, so to make this, that's just regular shaped crafting. Okay. Four K 
storage. This one. That, 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 this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we got ten of those. I guess we'll put the, let's put it in the back here. All right, so now we have Essentia storage. I guess we'll do the other ten. Oh, we're out of Thaumium. We can't do any more. That's it. We're over. We're done. So we don't really have time today to set up the alchemical furnaces and the arcane Olympics. Unfortunately, um, we made progress, though. We're able to get to that point and start getting that stuff automated, which is key to doing what we're going to have to do in the future to get this all automated. I think tomorrow we'll set that up first thing, or at least one of the first things. Uh, we'll start sucking in all the fluids that we need to make a bunch of thomium. While that is processing, we'll probably start working on automated Batania. At least progressing through Batania enough uh, to make better flowers in the Endo Flames. I'm not sure. Uh, generating flower. I'm not sure like what we can and cannot make at this point. I haven't really looked at these recipes. Yeah, we have to make the runes in order to do that. We need different slates, so we might have to do Endo Flame spam. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. That's it. We're done. Game over. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today while we played a little bit of the Infinity Evolve Skyblock mod pack. Thank you so much to people who subbed and resubbed. Uh, everybody who's dropped bits in the chat. It's very appreciated. It's what keeps the stream going. If you can't afford to do that, just being here is also awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, we go live Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, which is about six hours earlier than it is right now in your local time zone. So we'll be back tomorrow in about 18 hours from now uh, for another six-hour stream like we do, playing uh, more of this. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notified when I do go live. That's all I got for you guys today. Again, thanks so much for everybody being awesome today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.